Hey everybody, welcome back to the US Arc channel. My name is Garrett Hartle, just a goof with the truth. And unfortunately, we have yet another animal program ban alert, this time for the state of Oregon. Of course, as usual, to help tell us a little bit more about that, we have the president of US Arc himself, Phil Goss. Hey, Phil, what can you tell us about this ban? Thank you, Garrett. I'm here to talk about a bill in Oregon, House Bill 3214, which is yet another traveling animal act or animal education program ban. So how and when did this end up on U.S. ARC's radar? So our legislative alert system picked this up, fortunately, and we put all the information out for everyone to see. Hopefully you get involved and send in alerts. Oh, geez, this is starting to get a little bit repetitive with the animal program bans. I mean, it's like copy, paste, copy, paste. Can you tell us a little bit more about this Oregon ban specifically? What HB 3214 is going to do is it's going to ban any type of exhibition or program with a pretty lengthy list of species. So included in this list is all tortoises and all monitors, which if you're not aware, there are little small monitors that don't even weigh a pound as adults. You know, all monitors aren't big like crocodile monitors or savanna monitors or Nile monitors. There are a whole lot of small species that you can understand would be easy to take with you and give an educational program about. So all tortoises and all monitors are gonna be included in this. And something US ARC has to do when they review this legislation is look at what the actual bill would do if it passes into law. So unfortunately, this has vague definitions. For example, Traveling Animal Act is defined as a performance where an animal does tricks. Trick is not defined. So what is a trick? A trick is to most people, a tortoise or a monitor following a red dot, a red laser dot. That's a trick. A monitor standing on its back legs to get a treat or to follow a hand. Again, that's a trick. So a law enforcement officer can interpret the word trick however he or she wants. Also, if at this performance, the audience is amused or entertained, which to my knowledge, almost everyone is entertained or amused just by seeing animals in person. Again, all this performance has to do is entertain or amuse an audience, which you can imagine taking animals into a classroom or a scout troop or a 4-H fair program. I mean, again, especially in the eyes of children, they're going to be amused just by seeing these animals and being able to interact with these animals in person. So that's going to be banned. Okay, Phil, who does this bill impact? Because it sounds like you're telling me that if I take my baby tortoise to my kid's school to teach the kids about reptiles there, they can take my, the state can actually take my tortoise from me, seize it, imprison me up to six months and find me up to $2,500. Is that right? I mean, who needs to watch out about this stuff? That's pretty serious. I know a lot of people are gonna say that's not the intent of the law, that's not gonna happen. I'm telling you what could happen if this passes into law and that's why it needs to stop. Because if you get some animal rights minded law enforcement officer, they're gonna try and push this to the full extent of the law and that is six months in jail and a hefty fine just for doing these educational programs. So what legislators hear is animal rights groups coming in and telling them, oh, the, what? here's what this does. It bans lions, tigers, and elephants and circuses. No, 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 no. That's not what it does. It bans you taking a pancake tortoise before a scout troop to teach them about small species of tortoises. That's what it does. So again, why it's so important for you to go to our website, links in the description, or just go to usarc.org and click on alerts and find this alert, is because if the legislators do not hear from us in large numbers, they're going to believe what the animal rights groups and the people supporting this bill are telling them. They're not going to hear the full story because the people supporting this are not going to tell them the full story. We just saw this in Washington. We saw an online petition that said all that bill banned was animal abuse and animal cruelty to elephants and circuses. That's actually what an animal rights group was telling their members and their followers and legislators and posted online. They told them that's all that bill did, and that was an absolute lie because that is not all that bill did. It went far beyond that, just like this one does. This is not about animals and circuses. And beyond that point, Oregon, just like every other state in the country, already has animal cruelty and animal welfare laws. So those can be enforced if there is cruelty or bad husbandry 
or whatever it may be, animal neglect, if that is happening, there is already a law to cite and prosecute those people. So we do not need this. This is just part of the animal rights agenda to further remove these animals from our lives. This is sounding more and more not like America. Do you guys agree? I mean, Phil, what, what can we do about this? If enough people just send in emails or call legislators or set up meetings and US ARC is already working with some people on the ground in Oregon to fight this and stop this, we stopped it in 2021. The same bill was presented in 2021. So now make some noise and let's stop it again in 2023. Thank you, everybody. Okay, guys, yet again, I mean, this is something that we need to act on. The voice of the people needs to be heard if these kind of crazy, you know, restrictions that duplicate already intact animal welfare laws, except target reptile keepers and people who would try to educate uh, and and give people experiences with hands-on with animals to help them understand. If we want these things not to go through, you know what to do. Subscribe to this channel, share this video with everybody so that we can get the word out and make sure that we're still able to share our love and appreciation for the natural world. Follow the link below. It's got all the instructions that you need. I'm counting on you guys for this one and these other alerts. We wouldn't make these videos if they weren't important for you and the future of reptile keeping. Thank you very much, guys. Good night, America.